Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a YouTube Made Me Buy It Baby Edition. I'm going to be talking about all of the things that I bought for my baby because someone on YouTube recommended it. These are some of my all-time favorite baby videos to watch because it kind of gives you an idea of things that are good and bad all in one jumble. So these are relatively hyped up products here on YouTube and a few of these are products that aren't really hyped up but I heard someone mention and decided to buy it. So anyway, if you guys enjoy this type of video, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. I do a ton of mommy related videos here on my channel. So make sure that you subscribe. If you missed all of my pregnancy update videos, I can link my entire playlist down below for you. I also have a bunch of baby hauls and stuff. A lot of this was mentioned either in my baby shower haul or in my first time mom essentials haul. So I can link those videos for you as well if you want to go and check those out. But yeah, my little munchkin is in the background here. She is being a little bit fussy. So if you hear her making some baby noises, please excuse. She's only four weeks old. So you know, what can you do? Anyway, let's just go ahead and jump into it. So the biggest and most expensive item that I was lusting after because of YouTube is hands down the Jujube BFF diaper bag. I have mentioned this bag in tons of videos. I mentioned it in some pregnancy update videos. I've also mentioned it in my hospital bag videos, which again, I can link for you if you missed those. But this is the baby's diaper bag. I believe this print is called East Hampton or something like that. And I am planning on doing a full review of the diaper bag coming up here in the future. This bag is around $200, which is crazy, crazy expensive for a diaper bag. And I did not even want this until I started looking up reviews for diaper bags and the top 10 diaper bags. And then I watched about a million review videos and about a million pack with me videos of this particular bag and I fell in love with it. I love all of the interior pockets in here. It does help me to stay super, super organized. I love also that this has two different ways that you can wear it. As you can see, there are backpack straps on here and it also has like a messenger bag strap. So I personally prefer to wear it messenger bag style, but my husband really likes it backpack style. So that was the main reason I wanted this bag is because it has the versatility of wearing it two different ways. Overall, I would say I do really, really enjoy this bag. I probably would purchase this again. I do really like it and it's a good size, it's a good shape, very convenient, lots of pockets, etc. So spoiler alert for my review video, but I do really like this and I probably would repurchase it. Next up here is the Wubbanub Pacifier. This pacifier is around $15, depending on where you buy it from. I mentioned in the haul where I showed this pacifier that it was around $15, which I think is just ridiculous to spend on a pacifier. And I was really, really hoping that she would like it and she would take it so that I didn't spend a ridiculous amount on a soothe pacifier, which you can get a two pack of them for like three bucks. My baby is not picky at all when it comes to pacifiers. She doesn't have like a specific brand that she prefers or anything. She'll take pretty much anything. So she doesn't really prefer prefer this over any of her other pacifiers, but she doesn't hate it either. She'll take pretty much any pacifier we give to her. This one is no exception. I do think that this is super duper cute. As you can see, the giraffe is just adorable. And I absolutely love this little pacifier. We used this a lot specifically in the hospital because when she is fresh out of the oven, she doesn't have very good control over her mouth yet. And so she would spit out pacifiers left and right. And this one was nice and convenient. It was easy to reach. You can kind of hold on to the back of it and you kind of have control over where the pacifier goes. So we could put this back in her mouth at like a further distance away, if that makes sense. So also when she spit this one out, it was easy to find in the middle of the night when she was in the little hospital crib. So we liked it for that. Um, we've used it quite a bit still since coming home. Again, mostly just giving it to her at nighttime because it's easier to find in her bath it when she spits it out. So I do like it for that. It doesn't get lost. I will give it that. Like I said, she doesn't like this any better or worse than any other pacifiers. So is it a waste of money? Maybe, maybe not, but I do like that it doesn't get lost. That is very convenient and I like this for throwing it in the diaper bag and when she's screaming, crying and we're in the middle of the grocery store, I don't have to dig and dig and dig to find the pacifier because it's attached to the stuffed animal so it's easy to find. So that's a definite pro. I do think that I would buy this guy again. 
um, mostly just because it's cute and I love giraffes. So take it or leave it, but that is what I think of the Wubbinub. Next up is the Rock and Play Sleeper. I don't actually have this with me to show you because it is fairly large, but basically it is just an automatic rocking sleeper. I definitely recommend the automatic one. It's around $65, again, depending on where you buy it and if you get it on sale or not. It is very much so on the cheap end as far as baby gear goes. A lot of like swings and stuff start around $75 and go up to like $150. So this is definitely very cheap as far as like a motioned baby gear item. I do recommend the automatic one and make sure you get one that has the plug-in cord and not a battery operated one because you will go through so many batteries if you get a battery operated one versus getting one that plugs into the wall. She sleeps in her rock and play almost every single night. She really likes the rocking motion. It's a very smooth rocking motion. It's also super easy to fold up and take with you. It's very portable. It just sandwiches right in half and it's super lightweight so I can even carry it up and down the stairs, in and out of the car, that kind of thing, no problem. I would say this is awesome for travel. It's definitely a lot lighter weight and it's definitely a lot more portable and a lot smaller than like a pack and play. So I would say for travel, if you know you're gonna be traveling with a young baby, take this with you instead. Also, I like that she can nap in it. She can sleep through the night in it. She really likes the rocking, like I said, and it's a really cool designed product. Um, I would 100% buy this again. I would buy two of these. I really, really love the rock and play. Next up here, I have this guy from Skip Hop, and this is a bathtub elbow rest. So you just put it right on the edge of the bathtub like this. It has some suction cups and it just sticks to the side of the tub so that when you are bathing the baby, you can rest your elbows on here and it is nice and squishy and padded. I was so intrigued when I saw this because bathing a baby is a pain in the butt. It really kills your elbows, it kills your back, it kills your knees. So I thought that I can always roll up a towel and put it under my knees, but when you roll up a towel and put it on the edge of the tub, it slides around all over the place. So I really liked the design of this because it has the suction cups on the inside. It's also kind of a grippy material on the inside here, so it's not going to slide around or anything. I thought that this was just a really well-designed product. It is very, very comfortable on your elbows. You can put a ton of weight on here and it's still squishy. You don't feel the edge of the tub at all. We've just barely started doing bath time, but I know we have years left of bath time and I'm really, really glad that I have this guy. Next up here, I have the Boone Bottle Drying Rack. This is a $15 drying rack. It looks like a little grass lawn, which is so stinking cute. Not gonna lie to you, I mostly got this because it's so cute, but this is genuinely a really good baby product. You just stick the bottles right on there and the grass holds everything upright. You can put the nipples on here. You can even stick the bottle brush on here to dry. They also have all kinds of attachments and accessories. They have like little flowers and little leaf stems that you can buy to put on here that will hold like the nipples and the bottle rings and stuff like that. We are exclusively formula feeding, so we go through bottles a ton. We we wash bottles every single day, sometimes twice a day, and we use this like crazy, and I genuinely really, really like this. I like the size we got. We just got the smaller one, and this holds everything that we need. We don't have to use any kind of counter space or anything like that. I really, really would highly recommend this, and I would totally buy this again, 100%. I would buy two or three of these, honestly, because I really, really like this. So when this one starts to kind of wear out, I will for sure be buying another one. Next up here I have this little water mat. I saw this on someone's channel. This is not a hyped up product at all. I randomly saw someone talking about this and I immediately ran out and bought it that same day because I think the concept of it is just so cool. You fill up this outer portion with air and then you fill up the middle portion with water and it has these little fish that float around on there. This is awesome for tummy time. You can also use this at like restaurants and stuff. You can set it down on the table or you can put it on the baby's high chair at home. And then while you are preparing the food or waiting for the food to come, they can sit and play with this and it will keep them occupied. This is a super cool, unique product. And I haven't used this yet because she's not doing tummy time yet, 
but I am really, really excited to dive into this. I think it's gonna be a super cool one. Next up here is our bottle warmer. This is from the brand The First Years. This is just the box for it. I had the actual bottle warmer in our bedroom. This was around $15. I got it from Target, and I really, really, really like this product, especially for middle of the night feedings. We decided from the get-go that we were going to just give her room temperature bottles. That way when we are out and about and she's hungry, we can just shake one up and give it to her. We don't have to worry about trying to find somewhere to heat it up. So it's just kind of a convenience thing for us. But if she doesn't finish a bottle, then we put it in the fridge so that it will stay good for 24 hours instead of just one hour. So when she's ready to have that bottle, this is hands down the quickest and most convenient way to heat up a bottle. You are not supposed to heat up bottles in the microwave because it can leave little heat pockets inside of the formula, which can obviously burn their mouth and stuff. Super unsafe, so this is definitely the safest way to go. It uses steam. You can also use this to sterilize bottles and nipples as well. Um, you can put pacifiers in here. You can even heat up baby food in here. So this is a very multi-functional product and it is very small. It's about the height of this box so it's just a small little compact item I have it on my bedside table and um, like I said we use this a lot to heat up bottles that have been in the fridge so I really like this I would definitely spend the 15 bucks again to get it next up here I have this portable wipes dispenser this is from the brand OXO I believe this is around $10 and you can get these pretty much anywhere I really like that this is a hard plastic case so that when I put this in the diaper bag, I don't have to worry about the crinkly bag of wipes in there. This is a lot more compact than a bag of wipes. Also, it opens, it has a clasp opening right here that you can refill the wipes in. And then it also has a little pop top right here that you can put wipes in as well. That is what sold me actually because a lot of wipe dispenser boxes, you just open like this to get the wipe out. But since this has the dispenser on it, it's so much faster, so much more convenient and it definitely keeps the wipes inside moist for longer. So I really, really like this. I like having the hard protective case for the wipes. So I highly recommend getting one of these for the diaper bag. Next up here I have a pacifier clip. This is from the brand Bougainhead, I believe, and I just got this nice gray chevron, very gender neutral. These are around $5, again, depending on where you get it. It just has a little loop that attaches to any kind of pacifier. You can get any pacifier you want and attach this. And then the other end is a little clip here, and you just attach this part to their clothes and clip it on so that when they spit out their pacifier, it doesn't fall on the floor, it stays attached to them. I absolutely love this. I would buy several of these. We only have one and we just have a very neutral print so that it matches any of her outfits, but these are so convenient, especially when they get a little bit bigger and they're sitting up on their own, when they are spitting out the pacifier constantly and moving around, walking, crawling, whatever, to have this just attached to them is very, very convenient. And I also really like the strap because again, when we throw the pacifier in the diaper bag, we don't have to search around forever for it. It's very convenient and easy to find. So I like that as well. I also really like this for when we take her in the car seat. We just clip it on the side of the car seat and then it stays in there with her or we clip it to her blanket that she has on her lap and it'll stay right there with her as well. So I really, really like this and this is such a good idea. Whoever thought of these is brilliant. So, so, so smart. Next up here, I have a little diaper bag dispenser. This is from the brand Munchkin. I love this. We actually have four of these. Um, we keep one in our room, we keep one in the diaper bag, we keep one in the nursery, and we keep one in the living room. So we have these little disposable diaper sacks everywhere all around our house. Um, every single time she has a poopy diaper, we put it in this diaper sack and we do not smell her poopy diapers at all. Um, like at all, at all. We take out the garbage maybe once every couple of days and we never have had any problems with poopy diapers. So I really, really like these. The dispenser makes it nice and convenient. There's a clip on it so we can clip it on the diaper bag. We can clip it on the diaper caddy. And I like the Arm & Hammer bags that come in these as well. Very nice. I will say we decided this last time to go ahead and get the Arm & Hammer sacks from like the pet section because I figured they were kind of the same thing whether they're like dog poop sacks or baby poop sacks. It's all kind of the same but 
it's not. The dog poop ones don't have as strong of a smell to them, so they don't like cover up the poo smell as conveniently as these do. These ones smell very strongly of like kind of florally baby powder scent. So I would say to definitely get the ones that are Munchkin brand for babies if you are going to purchase the little bag refills because the ones that are for dogs are just not as good, unfortunately, because the ones for babies are more expensive. But they smell better, in my opinion. One item we got that's been kind of a flop for us are these little car seat strap covers. These are the Eddie Bauer brand, and I think that these are so cute. They are supposed to go right on the sides of baby's neck so that the straps don't dig into their neck or cut them or anything, but we actually had to take these off of the car seat day one because newborns are so small that there's not really enough room for these to be on the strap and then have the strap be on their chest where it's supposed to be. Uh, with this on, the strap was more down like by her belly button and that is not safe. So um, we had to take these off and we are still storing them in her closet until she's bigger and we can use them, which sucks. So uh, I would say definitely wait a few months on these. You totally don't need these for a newborn at all. Next up I have the Honest Company Soothing Bottom Wash. I heard someone talking about this when I was looking up reviews for the Honest Company and I thought it was like the coolest product ever. I'd never heard of anything like it so I hurried and rushed out and I got this. I actually placed an entire Honest Company order just so I could get this because they don't sell this in stores so I had to get it online. At least they didn't at the time that I bought it. Um, I think that this is a cool product. I haven't really gotten a ton of use out of it just because normally when she has a poopy diaper, we just hurry and change the poopy diaper. We don't like go all over the place looking for this. I have noticed though that the few times I've used this, it definitely takes down the stickiness of the poo. So it's a lot easier to wipe. We usually only need one wipe, maybe two when we spray this on first versus needing like three or four wipes to kind of scrub her bum. So I do really like the concept of this. However, it's not a very convenient product just because you have to hunt it down when you're changing a poopy diaper and normally when you open up the diaper and see that there's poop in there, you don't want to like close the diaper, dig around, find the spray, pull out the spray, open it back up, spray it a few times, close it, put it down, grab a wipe. You know what I mean? It's not like super convenient to use this. It's kind, of, it's kind of a little bit more convenient to go ahead and just change the diaper. So that's why we haven't been getting a ton of use out of this. But I do think it's a cool product. And I would like to use it more in theory. Um, would I purchase it again? I don't know. This is a solid maybe for me. Um, but again, it's a really cool concept. So if you have maybe an older baby and they have a lot stickier of poo, you're feeding them solids, that kind of a thing, I would look into this. But for a newborn poo... I don't know. This is the Baby Gannix Fragrance Free Foaming Hand Sanitizer. I have this small one for the diaper bag and I also have the large one that has the pump on it. I really, really like this stuff a lot. I like this way more than any other hand sanitizer we've tried. We've also tried the spray ones from the Honest Company and then just the regular like small little Purell ones. Obviously the Bath and Body Works ones I've tried as well. Um, but this is hands down my favorite hand sanitizer. You pump it out and it's a foam and then when you rub it in, it is seriously just like water in your hands. This is a really, really cool, innovative product. I like that it's fragrance free. It doesn't have alcohol in it at all. It says it's a moisturizing formula and I would totally, totally agree with that. It feels very moisturizing. Like I said, it feels like you're literally rubbing water on your hands. So I do really enjoy this product. Next up are the swaddle blankets from Aiden and Anai. I personally have the muslin swaddle blankets. As you can see by my little baby burrito back here, she's actually wrapped up in one right now, but they are just a nice loose swaddle blanket. They are huge, definitely way bigger than any other swaddle blankets that you can buy. Um, we got a whole pack of Parents' Choice, which is the Walmart's brand of swaddle blankets for our baby shower, and they are way, way, way too small to swaddle any kind of baby in them. But I really like the that the Aiden and I blankets are very large and you can swaddle them very easily. Also, I really like that they are so thin and lightweight. If you are having your baby during the summertime, you are definitely going to want the thin, lightweight muslin ones because they would be perfect at night during the summer. So I do highly recommend those. They're way expensive, way more expensive than other swaddles, but 
I really, really like them. And then the very last thing that I have here to talk about are the Honest Company diapers and wipes, specifically their diapers and wipes bundle. We have been using Honest Company diapers on her since pretty much day one. Um, we used up all of the pampers that we came home from the hospital with, and then we had a couple boxes of pampers that we used up. And I definitely would say that I prefer these two pampers. I wanna do a whole review specifically on the Honest Company diapers, talking about why I like them and kind of showing you a comparison of the two but I will say I do really like them I like that they're all natural I like that they feel like cloth instead of feeling like diaper material they are very absorbent totally leak proof I love the prints of these they are such cute prints you can see this is one of their new spring releases and um, I, I love these diapers so much we don't have plans on switching her to any other brand anytime soon actually I have stocked up newborn all the way through size 2 <laughs> on these diapers because we like them so much and that is it you guys that is everything that I have purchased for my baby because of YouTube whether it be good or kind of meh those are all of the products that I have bought for her and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you have tried any of these products for your baby and what you thought of them. If you bought any of these products because of a YouTuber or if you can think of any other super, super hyped up baby products here on YouTube, let me know. Tell me what you have thought or what you have tried. I would love to hear from you guys. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.